Today, we're going to show you how to make your own LED paper name tag from Brown Dog Gadgets. You'll need the paper name tag, an LED, a battery, a peel and stick pin, conductive maker tape, a marker, pen, or colored pencils, and a scissors. Let's start by cutting out the name tag. Next, write your name. This can be as plain or as fancy as you want it to be. Now we're going to poke holes using the pin. Open the pin and poke two holes at the two dots in the upper right corner of the name tag. Next, insert the LED. Make sure that the longer of the two LED legs goes through the right hole or the one closer to the outside edge of the name tag. And make sure that the LED is pushed in all the way. Then flip the name tag over. Now we're going to bend the LED legs. The longer one gets bent down across C and the short leg gets bent over A. Next, we'll add the peel and stick pin. Make sure the pin is closed peel off the backer to reveal the adhesive and put the pin in place. Press it down to make sure it's firmly adhered. Now we're going to start adding the conductive maker tape to the project. Cut a piece of maker tape the length of A, peel the backer, and place it over the short leg of the LED all the way through where the battery is going to sit. Next, cut a short piece of maker tape and form it into a loop. Press that loop into place at B. Now we're going to add the battery. Place the battery over the top of the tape loop, positive side up. Cut a piece of tape and place it over the long leg of the LED at C. Then cut a long piece of maker tape and add it at position D. Lastly, cut a piece of tape and apply it to E all the way up and over the top positive side of the battery. The LED will light up. Congratulations, you just made your own LED light up name tag. But what if the LED doesn't light up? That's actually okay. We'll do some troubleshooting. And to do troubleshooting well, you really need to know how the circuit works. Before any other troubleshooting, let's just make sure that we have good connections. That's especially true if the LED comes on but flickers or is dim. Let's start at the battery. Give it a gentle squeeze to make sure it has a good connection. Anywhere maker tape overlaps, rub it down to press the two pieces together. At the LED, make sure to press the maker tape down over the legs of the LED. With good connections, the LED will light up. Let's troubleshoot this one. If we take a look on the back here, we can see that two pieces of the maker tape are actually not touching each other. It's an open circuit. The easiest way to correct this is to cut another piece of maker tape and simply place it right over the top, completing the circuit. And the LED will light up. Here's another example of a name tag that's not working. We can see we have some good connections with the maker tape overlapping. Up here, this piece covers the short LED leg, the other covers the long LED leg. But you can see those two pieces actually touch and that bypasses power from the battery and makes a short circuit. It actually skips the LED. So what we need to do here is peel back one of those pieces of maker tape so it doesn't touch the other. So the current can flow from the battery, through the LED and back, complete the circuit and light up the LED. Here's another example of a badge that didn't light up. At first, it actually looks like it's okay. But if we take a look under the battery, 
we can see that the conductive tape stopped before getting to the battery. This is actually pretty easy to fix. All we need to do, cut another piece of tape and we'll extend that original piece across the bottom of the battery and stick the battery in place over it. And of course, the LED lights up. Now here's another variation of the same issue. In this case, somebody put piece A over the top of the battery instead of under it. Now to fix it, we just need to peel back these two pieces of maker tape, make sure that first piece goes under the battery. Here's another example. In this case, we can see the LED is not lighting up because of the excess size of the tape loop. We actually see the tape loop sticking out past the top of the battery, past that circle, and it actually touches the side of the battery too, which is also positive like the top. Now, if we peel back the battery, we can also see that tape loop is so big, it could come in contact with the piece of tape E coming off the bottom there. We wanna make sure that those don't touch. So to fix this, what we'll do is we'll make a new, smaller loop of maker tape. We'll remove that large loop of tape and replace it with a smaller one and then flip the battery back up into place, completing the circuit. And now, of course, the LED will come on. Can you spot the error in this one? The battery doesn't look right, does it? In fact, it's installed reverse polarity. LEDs only allow electricity to flow one direction, so if the battery's installed backwards, it's not going to work. Fortunately, this is easy to fix. Just pull off the battery, flip it around so the positive side is up, stick it back in place, put down the maker tape to complete the circuit, and the LED lights up. This last example is actually something pretty similar. At first glance, it looks pretty good. The battery and tape loop are good. We have solid connections, tape to tape, and tape to the LED legs. It looks like we should have a good working complete circuit. But we have to think about the short and long legs of the LED. Take a look here. Remember, the long leg needs to make a connection to the positive top of the battery. And the short leg has to go to the back negative side of the battery. But if the LED is accidentally installed backwards, it's not going to work. So how can we test this? Take another good LED and make sure it's in the correct orientation with the long leg towards the outside. Touch it down on the name tag over the original LED. If it lights up, we know the issue is polarity. Peel back the tape, bend the LED leg straight, pull the LED out, spin it, reinsert it, Bend the legs down onto the name tag and reapply the maker tape. Now the LED will light up. That does it for the troubleshooting section. Thanks for watching and enjoy your new LED paper name tag. We hope you liked this video. For more projects, templates, and tutorials, come visit us at browndoggadgets.com.